much better luck than we've had with pack openings here on this channel before. What in the world? Oh, signature. Hello, Snugglebugs. Welcome to today's Hearthstone video. We're just going to be coming at you with some pack openings. Now, we have about 150-ish, 155 with different types of packs, so we're just going to hop right into it and uh, see if we can get lucky. We're going to basically start with these three ones from the last expansion. A little, mm, get these out of the way. Click, click, click. Now, I know the typical um, rate is about one in every 20, plus there's the... You know, I think with a new pack, you get one in the first 10 just to kind of get you going uh, for Legendary. So being that with the Golden Packs, we have about 150 packs of the new expansion um, that we'll be getting to here in a second. I'm hoping that we get about seven or eight Legendaries out of those. Um, and now we have some, just some new standard packs that we're opening. Let's get the... Ooh. Mishmash. Um, speaking of packs as well... Uh, it. it I, we'll take a look maybe after, but I believe you can now buy golden packs for 400 in-game gold, which is kind of cool. I'm not generally a gold uh, collector overall, but um, for those who have a little bit of extra gold um, kicking around, you know, if you buy packs with your money and things, it's a good opportunity to start trying to build some gold collection um, for fun. Did see a little groovy cat in there. Definitely excited to try to build um, a druid deck. Apologies. Um, during this... Feel free to comment down below any deck ideas you have, the things you might want to see. We're trying to come back with, oh, Disco Mall, with a passion. So let's go here with a rogue pack that we saved. Ooh, little harmonic hip hop. Ooh, <laughs> regular and golden. Mm, priesty priest. Okay, fan club. Nice. Little overheal. Uh, I don't know if we're going to try aggro or uh, troll overheal priest or both. All right, so I think what we're going to try to do, um, since we have 142 regular and 10 golden, is we're going to start with a golden pack, try to get that hype up there, and then maybe every time we open, I don't know, a legendary, we'll open a gold, or just every 20 packs or so. Ooh, some of these look really nice. Um, basically, whichever one comes first. My original goal will be try to open it with every legendary, and then we'll just open up the gold ones at the end. And we have too many of those, so you know what, I'm just going to go through it. I was going to try to look... Um, but, which is pretty exciting, I'm not going to lie, but with 150, we're going to be here all day if we do something like that. So, we'll just kind of click through these. Maybe also let me know in the comment section down below, um, if when you watch these kind of pack openings, do you prefer, um, just rhyming right through them, or would you prefer, like, an hour-long video of, you know, hovering over every card to see if you get a legendary. Ooh, the Necrotic Explosion. So it has lifesteal, deals 5 damage, summons 2 one souls, and then every time you spend a corpse, upgrades this card um, in any way. I'm pretty sure it can increase the damage dealt, the amount of souls, and the soul stats. So in order to make this really worthwhile, you have to have like a, I would say, a corpse-focused deck, um, and it's rainbow. So that'll be interesting to see if we can make that work. First legendary in 5 packs, so here comes the golden. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I see that golden legendary. Wow! Ooh! Battlecraft. Take a snapshot of your current hand and shuffle it into your deck. So that's interesting. Kind of reminds me of a Golden Monkey, the Elise map of old. But that's cool. Golden Legendary. Can't complain. Oh, right. Back to the regular pack. We'll try to speed that up a little. But yeah, um, let me know again if you will like the speed run through the packs, if there's anything else you'd like to see. Um, personally, uh, I guess. Myself, like I said, I have so many that uh, I think I'm just, ooh, what's this, Timber Tambourine? At least take a look maybe at some of the epics, um, but definitely the legendaries. I kind of miss back when there was like a Snow Flipper Penguin style card in every pack. It always used to be kind of fun to try to basically see if you got more of the zero mana 1-1s one -ones or legendaries effective. Wow, that was quick. Ooh, Rin, little Control Warlock. I appreciate that's two legendaries in the top 10, plus one a golden already. Uh, <laughs> much better luck than we've had with pack openings here on this channel before. What in the world? Oh, signature. Look at that. I've never... That was my first signature card. I uh, haven't really played at all since um, the March of the Lich King expansion, so I wasn't around for the other batch of... Oh, look at that. That is pretty. We're just going to take a little nappy shot of this. There we go. Save that for later. Look at that. Oh, anyway. 
Wow. Okay, you know what? We got ourselves uh, four legendaries in <laughs> 12 packs. That's got to be at least my record um, of all time. Goodness gracious me. A little epic. Harmonic soloist. Nice. Not sure if Secrets and Hunter is going to be as good right now, but could be good later on, ah, later on in the year. Choose some minions and they fight at copies of any that die to your hand. Cool. One other thing I will say is as you, if you follow, uh, subscribe to the channel and, and watch our more upcoming gameplay videos, as just mentioned, I haven't really been playing that much since the last expansion. Um, I've tried to check out some of these cards as they've been announced, but I'll admit, I actually don't know as much about this set of cards and as much about even the core set rotation and things. So it's going to be fun for me to, even though I only stopped playing, I only missed, say, one expansion, three months. Um, for those who play the game a lot, you know that that's actually quite a bit. So it's going to feel interesting coming back, relearning maybe what's meta um, and, uh, you know, what decks work, what cards work, what cards people even have, honestly, in some cases. Red throw overheal, summon a random, ooh, I like that. Like I said, I'm definitely interested in an overheal priest. Maybe one of the first decks we try out today. Um, don't know how good it's going to be, but looking to give that a go. Man, getting a decent amount of golden commons and stuff too, actually, which is which is pretty nice to see. So we have seven of these left, so if I don't get a legendary by 110 pack, we'll just open a golden one just to change things up a little. Cosmic Keyboard, I think, is going to be uh, an MVP in the mage deck. I say the mage, in the mage class. Ooh, a little golden again. Look at that. They're really looking, it looks like they're really pushing me to play some warrior. I'm not really sure if warrior's going to be good this expansion based on what I've seen. Alrighty. I do like this pack opening animation and the sound. It's another <laughs> legendary. This is definitely more controlly. Give all minions in your deck attack and health equal to their cost. So big control warrior minion. Imagine playing this down and playing it as a 1622 taunt that destroys things. That would be pretty decent, obviously. Good use case of actually using it, but that's still that's cool. I like it. So now we can open another golden pack. We've had good luck with these so far, but since we've already got a signature card and a legend, like a normal legendary, I feel like that's going to be our golden luck for today. But hey, they look good. I do like the look of a lot of golden cards. Oh, I think I hit space and opened another golden pack by mistake. How do we do about that now? Hey, hit okay. So this time, again, we'll just keep going. We only have five of these left, so likely, hopefully, now with this many packs left, we'll actually hit five more legendaries. Um, in order to kind of give us that window. So, apologies. I kind of messed that up. Blah. That makes me sad, making that noise. The uh, Hero Power Mage, I believe, has gone out of the core set this year, so I won't be able to play any more of our... Blah. Epic. Crowd Surfer. Okay, cool. Passing around a little buff, like the old uh, hat. There was a hat that used to do that, I think, in Hunter. Security! That's cool. I just like the theme. The overall theme of this one, uh, of this expansion, is really cool. I love that each class was given, like, its own music style to build their theme around. Ooh, double epics. I mean, overall, I must say, like, um, we've gotten a fair amount of legendaries out of our normal packs. Three so far, I think, out of the normal packs. Two out of our golden packs. But we're just getting a fair amount of golden and epic cards, and um, that should also help build our collection to be able to provide um, some content over the next several months, um, especially until the mini set comes out and changes the game again. <laughs> All right. One thing I will say, um, just to talk, I guess, while we open up these packs, is I have tried to play again a little bit before just to kind of get my head back in the game and one thing that was pretty nice to see is i think out of um, not a ton but a decent amount of game wow um finish my train of thought real quick <laughs> decent amount of games i'd only seen like one side of anathrius and it didn't even kill me so that's that was a nice change but a double legendary pack all right a little mage and then our priest overheal priest card that deck we want so um we'll open up i hit space again 
I ruined it. It's my own thing, and I'm making a mess of it. So let me hit done. And even though there was two legendaries since I messed up and opened a pack, that kind of just sets us back, I guess, up to um, what we're looking for. So let's see, what do we got in here? Another rare. It's fine. Like I said, I kind of got lucky. Um, can't really say too much about my, my luck as far as the first, geez, not even 50 packs in total um, goes for these so far. So, I mean, I'm, I'm doing pretty good, I must say. Gold and rare. And again, more goldens. Beautiful. Let me know in the comments down below if you've had similar luck with me with your how many packs did you open you know how many legend did you get the legendaries you want honestly is is probably more of the key in my opinion um you know if you can only get x amount of packs a lot of people can only get say 20 or 30 or maybe at tops one of the bundles um if i wasn't coming back to youtube as an example i probably would have done the same um but yeah let me know how many packs you opened what legendaries you opened and then again more importantly did you get ones you want to use ones you're excited for and uh, let me know which one that is. And Ooh, crowd surfer again. Cool. So we know we got two of those. That's good. Bwah. Mordresh, that's the name. My brain <laughs> couldn't remember who the Bois guy was. But it's Mordresh. Wow. Another golden rare. We're doing pretty good. So with four packs left, if we get to 80 without opening um, another legendary, we'll jump back up to a gold pack to try to keep things interesting. Record Scratcher. Cool. Alright. Need more Solus. Honestly, there are enough neat things as well that I can't think of a singular deck that I'm the most excited to try. So, there's actually enough that I'm excited to try, I think, almost every class. Um, in some cases, a couple decks per class. See what I like, see what works. Obviously, as um, it's new... The first few weeks will probably just be trying things out. Meta will take a while to settle. There'll probably be a patch in case there's either over or underpowered cards. Um, so, like, I would not, in this video alone, especially because I haven't even played, recommend, say, crafting anything unless there's something you truly, really want to try. It's just, of course, you, we have no idea what's going to be good and what's not going to be good. All right, cool. And we're almost down to the 80 pack spot. More epics, though. Again, I admit, I'm very happy with that. Another golden rare. Um, actually, one more to get to 80. Will this have a legendy? A legendy? Well, nope, it does not. So make sure we hit done instead of space so we open up the right packs that we're looking for. Come on, golden. Nope, more common. Or more rare. That's fine. Again, we. Kind of one of the downsides sometimes to getting that good of a luck in the first, I think, two or three packs that we open is it makes the rest of them kind of feel a little lackluster sometimes. But, you know, can't when you get lucky like that, you should, you can't really complain. Ooh, a bunch of bananas. I don't think the bananas is going to be... I mean, it, I could be wrong. It doesn't stand out as a super good uh, hunter card, but the other one that summons the 1-4 uh, monkeys, the barrel of monkeys, I think, is, is going to surprise people as a pretty good hunter card that's in this set. Ooh, got a lot of disco malls. So we're, yeah, we're basically getting mostly all duplicates now, I think, for common and, ooh, but we got a gold cosmic keyboard. Um, common and rare cards, unless they're golden. Um, so that's, I mean, that's to be expected when you get as many packs as we have, um, but Doubt that we're even close to the double or the duplicate protection for um, epics yet. I don't know uh, who, who all, I guess, in the audience has been playing long enough to remember when they didn't have duplicate protection. Um, how frustrating it used to be to get excited that you got a legendary, especially because up until I started doing YouTube, I never spent money on this game other than maybe the odd like birthday or whatever. And how frustrating it would be to see that orange glow after sometimes weeks of trying to save up a few hundred gold of, to get some packs and open it to be a legendary you already had or epics that you already had two of or whatever. Um, and they didn't give you a full dust refund. Ooh, more gold. Gold. Okay. Um, we should be getting close, hopefully, to luckily opening another legendary. Look at that, though. Two rares and two epics and one's gold. 
Um, but if we don't get to, when we get to 60, we'll switch back to another gold pack. Boom, 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 boom. I think out of the 142 regular ones, we've opened five legendaries thus far. There's another one. Inza, ooh, Overload Shaman is one of the ones I was, ex one of the many that I'm excited to try. So that's actually pretty cool. I'm glad to see that. Open up another golden pack. Oh, no way. First of all, golden disco mall. I got enough of those, but I'll take another golden one. That's gonna be great. What do we got? Another golden? Oh, another signature. That's crazy. Um, I don't know what the odds are of getting these, but um, yep. <laughs> oh my goodness. A little happy claps. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I hope I get more. As always, you can't. You can never hope for for less, especially with sixty packs to go. I want to keep this video interesting. Another disco mall. But at the same time, like I, I, I wouldn't even be able to complain if I get if I get nothing else um, out of the rest of these sixty packs. To be perfectly honest with everybody, ooh, epic still coming through. Volume up, bell mage. I think would be cool. I like OTK now. I, I admit I've seen people on YouTube using that, um, but I don't really know how it works. I think it has to do with the new Millhouse Mana Storm drawing a bunch of... I think it's basically copying and making multiple Pyroblasts, and then the DJ Mana Storm makes them one cost, and then you just, like, if you survive for the next turn, you just Pyroblast them to death, I think, is, is how that works. So maybe we'll look at giving that a shot. Um, so there's two packs left, or two golden packs left. If we get down to 40 without opening another Legendary, not to keep reading myself... That's when we'll um, open another one. Annoy our troop and another golden card. Hmm, look at us. Ruby Cat. Hero Power Druid. I don't know if the idea is just to make an aggro druid with those cards so you can get some of that hero power in there, or a greedy list where you try to get your hero power to like 10 damage and just control the whole game. Man, double golden. Look at us go. Nothing super exciting. For some reason I want to check this one. Okay. No reason, I guess. My brain just playing tricks on me. Look at a hair. Ooh, another golden. Golden. Rare. Paparazzi. Little Lady Gaga. I know this is probably old news for everybody else, but I just recently found out that Lady Gaga was playing Harley Quinn in the Joker sequel. So, I mean, that was interesting. Definitely didn't see that coming. All right. Three packs before we open the next golden, unless we hit a legendary before that. Boom. Synthesize. Beatboxer. I wish I could beatbox. Instinctively, I want to do it, but I don't want to hurt anybody's ears. All right. If we don't get a legendary in this one, we're opening a golden one anyway. Alright, click. And gold. God, that's cool. I do like that. Oh, no way. And an epic. Draw a card. Repeat each minion type you control. Okay, so Menagerie Warrior. What? Third signature legendary out of these. Okay. Um... <laughs> guess we're going to be using some rogue. I don't play rogue too often, other than pirate rogue and thief rogue, as, as you guys have seen on the, on the channel, as the snuggle bugs have seen, but I need to give that a shot. Okay, 41 packs to go, and my brain, I've kind of lost track. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's either six or seven legendaries out of the normal packs already, which is pretty, pretty good. Like, that's Probably more actually on par. Um, maybe I got more than that. And then we also got three signature legendaries and two non-signature legendaries out of the golden packs. Something like that. Way, way high <laughs> of a return, basically, for ten packs, even if I'm wrong on, on the amount there. So, 
Our rate has been muy caliente. One downside of not having playing very much, I'll admit, is I didn't have a lot of gold, which I usually might also buy like another 30 or 40 packs with, and then that way I also get dust and things of that nature. Just go ball. So, if there are missing legendaries, oh, Symphony of Sins. Now, I don't actually know what the movements are, so I'm looking forward to seeing that, but I guess we open up our last gold pack early. Boom. Which actually must mean that we got 10 legendaries, actually. Well, no, not true, because we also um, opened a couple just by hitting the, the limit. But that's okay. And we'll just click on through. Let me know, as you're watching in the comment section down below, do you think we'll get another legendary in the last 25 packs, or has our luck run out? <laughs> Again, honestly, obviously the more the better, the less I have to craft or... You know, potentially uh, disenchant older cards to try to get that's now rotating into uh, wild. But at the same time, uh, I would definitely not be surprised if there's not much more uh, to come. Wow. I think I'd be old uh, animation by now, but I really like that. Hearthstone guitar pick and everything. Uh, I wish I had 400 gold, actually, because if I get another Legendary, I wouldn't mind going and, like I said, buying a Golden Pact. Seeing if that's because that could be, like, a thing. Every Golden, every Legendary that I open going forward, if I have enough gold, maybe it'll be a Golden Pack sort of celebration. Wah. Come on. Love to get one more. We did. Ooh, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm sure there's potential in that. But Big Beast Hunter without Mountain Bear, it's definitely going to be interesting. So that'll be cool to try out. Don't have the 400 gold to buy that golden pack. But that'd be nice. 13 left to go. I, I'll hope. I don't want to. Don't want to discount my luck. I didn't think I was going to get one in top 25. Didn't think I was going to get like three or four of them in the top 10. <laughs> but we did. So. Maybe we'll get lucky and get the other ones in the bottom ten. Ooh. Talking a lot, drinking that water. Boom, boom, boom. Mwah. Ooh, jeez. Two golden commons in there? Nice. The little tracker must not be updated with all the new cards. I must not have updated that. Keep saying und undefined cards whenever I get something new. Oop. Also notice that I must be mostly missing legendaries and stuff because I stopped getting those pop-ups of having like all the cards from a set for each class. Alright. You know what? Let's take this last couple maybe a little slower. Epic? I can't complain. Okay. Freebird. Ooh, interesting. Do a little lucky swirl. Nope. And one pack, another Disco Mall. I'll count this pack as a win if it has another Disco Mall in it instead of a Legendary. Well, no Legendary. No Disco Mall either. Well, again, can't really complain. Let me know in the comment section what you'd like to see. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next one.